What's up, everybody? Tyson Roush, Let's Talk Jets Radio. Uh, we broadcast live Tuesdays and Friday nights, uh, 8 o'clock. Tuesday is the game recap show, and then Friday nights is the game preview show. This is a quick video in response to this bizarre Kelechi Osemele video uh, story. Um, and again, this is a lot of assumption on my point. I had time. I mean, I read most of the stories. It's just a very strange situation. I, I think what happened is this: Osemele came into the season not 100, percent but he wanted to play through it. It's a contract year for him, and his play wasn't up to par. Um, Alex Lewis obviously pretty clearly took his spot. So he's probably like, you know what? I'm going to get surgery and get ready for next year. The Jets were like, listen, hold on a second. Alex Lewis is now banged up. We need offensive line depth. We want you to play because nothing has changed since you've been here since, you know, September, August, whatever it is. It's a, it's a bizarre situation, and it's so unfortunate that it has to get released to the media. Like, it has to always go through the media. And it's like the Jets did their part. And Osemele, if you notice, did a huge media tour when he signed with the Jets. He has plenty of connections in the media to do his part. So now you have a player that knows he lost his spot and wants to just get 100% and get ready for next year and a team that's desperate for line help and may need him to actually start if Alex Lewis can't play. So what a weird, weird, weird situation. Um, listen, if the guy doesn't want to play and he's checked out, let him check out. I mean, at this point, who cares? Like, It's like I understand there's, a, there's money involved and everything else, but listen, once a player doesn't want to play, forcing him to play and finding a suspension – is going to come a complete fiasco. So I understand both parts. Um, the way it's going to play out in the media, you know that there's going to be spin towards negative Jets, forcing a player that doesn't want to play because he's hurt and all this other stuff. What? It's just so goddamn strange, man. Like, can the, can the Jets just ever have a time where, like, we can all be excited about a game? Like, Sam Darnold's coming back. We got, you know, C.J. Mosley's coming back. Like, we're so excited about Monday Night Football. And then this shit comes out. Like, I'm sitting there like, What? Jets are forcing a guy to play? If he doesn't want to play, don't fucking play. Like, Jesus Christ already, man. So, uh, I'm sorry, I broke my no-cursing rule again, but whatever. His story is just so weird. Um, I'm sure it's about money, and it, now it's it's just going to get just whatever. Jets being Jets, whatever. I don't even care at this point. So, this is a video just to say I think this is bizarre. I, I think it's just so weird how this is all played out. And uh, I'm sure it's going to get worse before it gets better. And uh, I just want to play. I just want to watch football, man. Like I'm so tired of off the field stuff with this team. I, I'm just tired of it. Like, I can't take it anymore. I just want to enjoy football. I want to enjoy a great matchup on Monday night and move on. So we'll be live in another half hour or so, whatever hour. Uh, we'll talk to you then.